My poem is called Eternal Blossom, and I'd like to acknowledge my friend Shanice, who co-wrote it with me, except she's too chicken to get out of here. Shanice, Shanice. A blossom emerges from the ground and basks bask in happiness all around. Although this flower is grand, it needs solid roots to stand. The flower is an inspiration, although there was some hesitation. The flower was picked and plucked. It had its share of bad luck. The flower hung its head low, confidence now, now down to zero. The flower knew it could shine bright. It never gave up the will to fly. Every day, this flower reveals its grace through the brightness of an IOP member's face. Party is a way of life. Sometimes it cuts deeply like a knife. As we leave, we scream out loud because IOP has made us proud. We were all nervous at first and didn't know what to expect as we were about to live in a place where everything was different and we didn't have the comforts of home. But as the program started, we realized that nothing is impossible and there are so many people out there willing and wanting to help improve our futures. <laughs> On the first night, we all headed over to the gym where we met up with some members of the Canadian Paralympics. They helped us, they helped teach us wheelchair basketball and bocce, as well as teamwork and where to access sports in the community. The next day was all about food. We spent hours trying to find our groceries for the duration of the program, and then cooked a three-course dinner with minor disaster. <laughs> the following cooking was a night on the town. At, Bo at Boston Pizza, Patty laughed so hard she sprayed her drink across the table, <laughs> all over Shanice and Chantel. After dinner, we headed over to the movie theater where we saw Wanted and Hancock, while some of us went for dessert at Dimitri's. <laughs> Throughout that ILP, we had many sessions discussing various fields such as laundry, transportation, meal planning, banking, health, and accessible lifestyles. In laundry, we learned how to properly sort, fold, wash, and dry our clothing. In transportation, we learned how to book caravan and trans help, as well as looking at routes and schedules on the internet. Now, something funny always happens when dealing with transportation, such as when Merwin got lost not once, but twice at the bus station. Meal planning was a little hard because we had to accommodate everyone's wants and needs, such as vegetarians. Some people wouldn't eat certain things like me. <laughs> However, we're all still alive, including the vegetarians. Banking couldn't have been that bad. Now, banking taught us how to manage our money in safe ways and when to use it. During our health session, we learned that too much soap will harm you. <laughs> we talked about relations and sexuality was very interesting. After three hours long, <laughs> I don't think any of us will ever forget that session. <laughs> Maybe Chantel, seeing as she would, fell asleep during. <laughs> <laughs> On Wednesday, many benefits. 
vendors came by to exhibit and offer their services, such as accessible vehicles, housing, equipment, and our favorite, the bikes. Georgie had a little too much fun <laughs> crash accident. Um, Thursday morning, Jack Black entered the room, or so we thought. Sensei Jack and Sensei Connie showed us how to defend ourselves and taught respect for others. Crystal and Raymond really got into it with their enthusiasm for the art. Friday was probably our favorite day of the program. We took the GO train into Toronto, where we would soon arrive in Queen's Key. And once there, we sailed and had a picnic lunch. Merwin, Tori, and Chantel's sailboat abruptly stopped in the middle of the harbor, and the sailor had to call for a crash boat to come out and tow the <laughs> After many, many hours of fun, we all walked over to the old spaghetti factory for dinner, where the whole group had a great laugh as Georgie and Merwin shared a romantic candle at dinner. <laughs> On Saturday, we checked out accessible rooms at Agave Place with Participation House. We all enjoyed seeing the variety of designs and the people were very kind to let us in. They cooked us a great meal and the client of Participation House gave us a very insightful speech about living on your own. Budgeting was an issue for most of us, especially Patty and Chantel, who were practically broke by the end of the first week. <laughs> Anna always made sure that, that we were very direct and organized with the budget. Following the budget was a session about street smarts. We got into groups and presented skits on what to do in certain situations. Shanice and Rachel had fun playing the role of offering candy and a ride with me, who was stranded on the street. The most intense day was definitely the day of the ILP Amazing Race. The competition was tough, but we all triumphed in the end. Once everyone had settled at the pit stop in the Oakville Harbor, we stuffed our faces with delicious ice cream bars and popsicles. In ILP, not only do we learn how to live by ourselves, we also make lots of new friends. All 14 of us had something to offer with our different personalities. Jason brought every to everyone together with his GameCube entertainment and his amazing personality. Dominic is always a happy camper and everyone loved his go with the flow attitude. Tori is an excellent cook and is very smart. Chantel is always helping people out and was always our um, star serving food and she's definitely the mother figure of the group. Shanice is a great comedian and an even better rapper who always entertains us. <laughs> Patty is always laughing and would break into random songs every day. <laughs> Baldy rocks his thick shades, as well as being the <laughs> AJ is simply amazing, there's nothing more to say. <laughs> Rachel, me, is motivated, nice and friendly. <laughs> um, Raymond is a fast learner, funny, and very knowledgeable. Jamie was our star barbecuer and had a need for speed, always riding around on the spare scooter whenever he could. And he was also considered the lover of the camp. Um, Georgie is hilarious. He didn't even know what his disability was before he got here. Berwin <laughs> is athletic and always smiling and happy. Crystal is very sweet and has a great personality. Together we were able to work as a team and accomplish everything that was put in front of us. Yes. <laughs> We've learned so much through our own research and the help of everyone here. We are better advocators and communicators. This program has inspired and enriched all of our minds about living independently. We all really appreciate that we were chosen to be a part of this amazing opportunity. The staff is great. They did so much work to help make this an amazing experience for all of us, and we're so grateful to them. We're going to take so much from this. Thank you to all of the sponsors. Without you, none of this would have been possible. And a special thanks to Mrs. Christie, who makes good cookies. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But thank you for all of your hard work and efforts that have gone
into this program, Christy. We have learned so much. We will hold this program within our hearts for the rest of our lives. Thank you. Thank you. would like to just say a quick something and then we have our I'm just this is your 30 second warning bill so I have 30 seconds yes. <laughs> hi everybody my name is Chris Hartley and I'm